Polar Big Boy Jeans. These are probably the most popular skate pants out there in the skateboarding world. That being said, even though these pants are so popular, I realized there aren't much videos about them. So today in this video, I'll be going over the minor details on these pants that most videos don't show, the way they fit, and last but not least, how they feel and look when skating. To start off with, we have the most iconic part of these pants, which is the small big boy embroidery on the right side pocket. When you get them in person, you'll realize that this is a very very fine small detail to these pants. And I think that most people buy these pants because of the fit and also this small logo. Next off, we come to the inner tag and button on these pants. Not anything really special, but they are still some small nice details to the pants. Last but not least, we come to one of the biggest features on these pants, which is the blue logo tag on the back. This blue tag makes it very easy to recognize these pair of pants. Even with the belt, you can still easily see the tag since it has a larger area than the thickness of a belt. This blue tag and small embroidery on the side pocket are probably my two most favorite details on these pants. The fit of these pants can be tricky. It is probably the biggest concern people have before spending over $100 on a pair of pants. Since you are spending a fairly high price for a pair of pants, I'll do my best to create a very elaborate guide on how to buy your perfect size. So to begin with, my height is 5 foot 7 and I weigh around 140 pounds. As you can see in the video, to make this as accurate as possible, I don't have a belt on and the pants are not cuffed or tailored or even washed yet. So this is exactly how a size S polar pants will look like. As you can see, the pants tend to pile up on my shoe. So for a better look, I usually cuff my pants by two folds, giving it a better look in my opinion. However, I do know people who like the end of their pants to pile up on their shoes. So based on your preference, you can do either one of these looks, whatever you want it to be. Now we come to the waist. As you can see, I still have a lot of breathable room in these pants. It's not too big to the point that I need a belt at all. As a reference, my whole waist is about 31 inches. I would recommend you measure your own waist at about the same place as the top of your underwear. If your waist is smaller than 30 inches, then I'll recommend you buy a size extra small. On the other hand, if your waist is greater than a 32, then I'll recommend you sizing up and buying a size medium. Overall, these pants do fit really nice. I would recommend getting a pair if you do have the money. It retails for around 120 to 140 US dollars based on what color you're getting. As mentioned before, if your waist is lower than 30 inches, which does not include 30, I would recommend getting an extra small. And if your waist is greater than 32 inches, I would recommend getting a size medium. 
Unfortunately, for the larger sizes, I might not be able to give you a recommendation, but hopefully, based on these lower measurements, you can kind of scale it up and get a better grasp of what size you want. Thank you for watching and leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Comment any questions or also what other pants y'all want me to review in future videos. Thank you.